Hey guys, so your girl's back and I really outdid myself with this one. Like I thought last year when I recorded, I, I think it was last year when I recorded my last VIB sale, I thought that was when I did bad. No, this year I spent $5.96 and that was with the discount. I'm gonna just show you. This is the first bag and look at the second bag and then I have a box here that you can't see that I had to order some products because the stock is just getting crazy. And with that being said, after you watch this video, run to Sephora and get these products because the stock, I don't know, this year it's been very low, like no matter what Sephora that I go to. So I'd say hurry up i think some of the products i when i was even looking up the prices like some of them are already sold out so i'm trying to get this out as quick as possible um i'm gonna get right into it i'm gonna put the prices here um i'm gonna try to put like a screen recording or a screenshot of the prices on the side if i can if not everything will be linked below and if it's sold out i'll probably try to leave like a similar product links or anything because i know i like that when i watch youtubers so i'm gonna do that for you guys um i'm gonna start with skincare products first then we'll get into makeup and then i have like a couple of bits and bobs that we can get into too um that i bought so yeah let's get into it so my first product is the fading faded <laughs> faded um brightening and clearing serum so this product has some great ingredients it has niacinamide licorice root azelaic acid those are ones that i know and then it has a tons of other great um ingredients i advise looking up the ingredients just in case but yeah um i absolutely love this product i saw results within one week to the point where my friends were comp like, like complimenting my skin and saying like what have you done different literally only this and my toner is different and this is doing most of the work um on tiktok a lot of people are saying it's overhyped i think everyone's skin is different so try it out for yourself um this product is one of the products that goes fast so i'd say turn on your notifications on the sephora app or site for them to email you when it's in um because it's barely in stores so i really love this product i bought this a couple weeks ago um i didn't really buy this with the sale but this inspired one of my sale buys so yeah um which we're gonna get into right now i got the like butter hydrating mask so this is for the same company and i've heard great things about this but just because i really like the faded cream i'm like let me get this let me try it out i really wanted to try the roll on for the ingrown hairs as well but i don't think they sell that in store and i didn't really want to order it online especially because i don't know i just didn't want to order it online but this um it's supposed to soothe, hydrate, and restore your skin. It has ingredients like green tea, turmeric, rhubarb, and other ingredients. Um, one thing also that I forgot to mention about the faded cream, it does smell like perm, but you moisturize your face after, so I just feel like it's not that serious. Like, grow up, put some moisturizer on, you won't smell it anymore. I think it's because the mixture of ingredients... Um, that's why it has that type of smell but um, I'm hope I'm looking really I'm really looking forward to trying the like butter hydrating mask um it says it's for dry sensitive skin I didn't see that before but that's good to know my next product is okay so I if you watch my other skincare video I use this sunscreen but not this specific one I use the matte one so it's the unseen sunscreen um by Supergoop. So I use the matte one, but um, a friend of a friend was telling me how much she loved the Unseen Sunscreen. So I was just like, you know, let me try it out. So I had gotten some testers and I really do like it, especially on days where I want my makeup to not be so matte. This is really good for it. And also, if you get cat, like the matte sunscreen doesn't leave a cast for me, but it might for some people. The people that you feel like it might leave a cast and you don't want to see that, I'd say get this, the unseen sunscreen. And I think that like these are priced, I mean, get it on the sale. That's all I have to say. The next product is... I don't know how to say this brand. I've been saying like Laneage or Laneige. And I hate butchering names, but 
Mm. So I got the peach one. I'm not really gonna do too much. I've spoken about this product. I love this product. It's like my go-to like balm when I don't want to wear lip gloss. Um, another balm that I want to try is the Glossier Glossier um, dot com balm. I want to try that, but I don't think they sell that at Sephora. But I really love these balms. Um, I didn't really buy too many of them because i buy them all the time so i just figured let me just get one and i lose these like i lose my airpods so i wasn't trying to do too much honestly and i was already spending too much so i just picked up one but i advise you get this or the value set for the sleeping mask if you really need your um lips to be moisturized another product is so as i was just saying i had added a new toner and the faded cream to my skincare routine so the new toner that i added is this it's the tatcha luminous dewy skin mist so this product i found on one of my favorite youtubers um channel they were talking about it it's two of them i forgot the name of their youtube channel and if i find it i'll place it below if you like skincare videos um but they recommended this and i just what caught my eye, so I'm not really a Tatcha fan because I'm one of those people that I had a bad experience with one of those products, so it just turned me off of the brand because I didn't really want to risk it. But with this one, um, what caught my eye is the mist. It's very fine. Like, if I can get a video of the mist, I'll add it in, but it's super fine. You have to spray it like two to three times, but because the mist is so fine, I think it lasts longer because it's such a small bottle compared to my other toners, and it's lasting super long. So um, this is one of those products that I didn't buy in the um, when I went shopping for all these other products, but I got it with the faded cream, and um, I thought it was worth mentioning for you guys to buy it. And Tatcha is super expensive, so I'd say, again, get it on sale. Um, another product that I've... I'm so happy that I finally re-upped on this product because one thing about me, and I've mentioned this before, I absolutely hate makeup wipes. I just think it's very, like, it drags your skin. It's just not for me. So I like to use the Pharmacy Green Clean um, Cleansing Balm. This thing is amazing. I didn't get the bigger size because I feel like a lot of this goes a long way. Like I literally scoop it up just a little bit. And it when I say it melts, melts. And I put like hairspray in my eyebrows. So like I be needing to get in and get that product out because it like really sticks. So this is really cool. And um, some it has really good ingredients in it too, if you're into skincare. Once again, I'm not like no skincare guru, but if you know me, you know that I'm like super into like, you know, things that are good for your skin. So this is really amazing. And if you use makeup wipes a lot, you should really look into this because it's also easier. You always using more than one makeup wipe. This, I swear to you, just a little bit and your makeup be gone. Especially if you like double cleansing, that's me. So speaking of cleansing, I've been eyeing this product for a minute, but I just never thought that the price was reasonable in my opinion because I feel like you could get other um, products that do this for the low. So I got the Foreo cleansing massager so this is the perfect time to get the foreo because well this one i got the tiny one i i believe it's around 59 dollars but foreo is pretty expensive to me for like a cleansing massager because i got mine the girls i get it get it i get mine from um tj maxx or like you know home goods or something like that like they sell them for the low marshalls like they sell them for the low and it's the automated one, but right now, um, I said automated, automatic, whatever. Um, mine's right now is not really working, so I figured, okay, like, perfect time to get a new one and on the sale. So I got this, and um, I just like to deep clean my face, like, at least three to four times a week. I wouldn't say I do it the whole week, but I think it's good to get into those pores, like, as much as you can without like doing too much and stripping your skin so get into that um something that i've been wanting to try and i also saw this on the same skincare channel that i was talking about before is the laneige water bank blue Hyal Hy hyaluronic cream moisturizer 
So this I'm looking forward to using. I'm really big on like simple moisturizers and hyaluronic acid is something that I like to look for a lot in some of my, most of my products. I won't say all of them, but it's definitely an ingredient that I look for. Um, especially because I like my skin to be hydrated and just look super moisturized and things like that. Right now, my moisturizer, my skincare routine, if you watched the last one, it's the same one. It's Versed. And I get that at Target. And that's like $16. This is pretty expensive as well. Um, so I was happy to get it on the sale. Um, I'm going to see how long it lasts me and if I like it, just so I know if I want to buy it again. Because one thing about me, I'm not like super... Like, I, I'm not going to talk myself out of buying a good skincare product, regardless if it's pricey or not. But if it's not giving what it needs to give, I'm going to stick to verse. So, I'll do, like, an updated video on, like, the products that I felt was, like, a hit or a miss. Next up is this product is the Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Gel Mask. So, I let me tell you I wanted to buy one of these for so long when I used to live in Brooklyn for college my roommate Joel he had so many Peter Roth um, Peter Thomas Roth items um, and this was one of them and I always just wanted to use it but you know in college your girl was working for the Lolo and I wasn't making the right amount of money to be splurging on these masks this mask is like 55 56 i think and um it has a, i love cooling um ingredients so like cucumber chamomile um aloe vera i think those are like really cool um ingredients for a mask and i think you're supposed to put on a mask once a week so i'm going to like go back and forth between these two um depending on what my skin needs on sunday like i i have to do my mask on sunday because that's my relaxing day depending on what my skin needs i'll pick which one i want to do because yeah and just to keep like you know keep it fun keep it cute not gonna do the same thing okay so we're done with skincare um let's get into makeup so the first product i'm going to talk about is my pride is it is it pride and true well, a product that I've been using since forever, Precisely My Brow. I love to read up on these on sales because I run out of them like all the time. I'm always doing my brows. Um, I just love the flick of like the flick tear brow um, look. I don't, I don't like those big like or super colored in brows. Um, so I love the, the smaller pencil for um, the benefit brow but it's good that they have an option for people that are not like super good with their brows they can use the bigger um pencil but i'm really a fan of this i think that if you're a beginner you can still use this um and it's also waterproof and smudge proof i really didn't know that but um that's good to know in the future but i definitely think if you love your like natural looking eyebrows i feel like you should definitely re-up on these um staying on the brows this is a brand that i've heard a lot about and i've heard good things about all their products and i've seen people using their products so i really wanted to try the brow scope by refi beauty so with refi i thought about getting the pencil but i love benefit and i think that the good thing about benefit is they have a great range when it comes to color so i'm a four point five in the benefit but they have so many different um colors whether it be light or dark you can go darker than a 4.5 and this is neutral deep brown at refi you have light medium and dark and personally i didn't really like that but um so i refrained from getting the pencil because i just didn't know whether i didn't really feel like trying it on in the store and i didn't know whether i'd like the brown or not um, the medium and the light to me are super light. Like, I don't think the medium is a medium, but that's just me once again. Um, the brow scope is clear. It looks like when you get clear lash glue, it looks like a white paste, but it's supposed to come out clear. I put hairspray on my eyebrows, so I just wanted to try something that is specifically for brows instead of, like, wasting my hairspray. Um, I usually use hairspray or, like, got-to-be glue. I know some people use lash glue, 
I don't do that, but to each its own. I'm gonna try this and see how it works. I heard it works really well. Um, I also heard there's one for Anastasia that works really well that doesn't move, but I don't know, I never heard of it until I was shopping, so I decided to get the Refi instead. Um, next up on the docket, let's talk about foundation. Okay, so I've been using this for months now. I'm not sure if I mentioned it in my last video, but I love the Charlotte Tillsbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. So I'm a 9 cool. Originally I was a 10 cool. They discontinued it and now I'm a 9 cool. Um, I love the Charlotte Tillsbury Foundation and I think that they have a great range of colors. I will say that. And another thing that I like is that, so I'm a 9. I think I'm a 9 and I can decide if I want to be warm, neutral, or cool. So you can get a 9 neutral, a 9 warm. I love that about the brand. Um, the one thing I will say is I don't feel like neutral is super neutral. I do think it's more on the warm side because I did try it because I couldn't find the 10 cool. Um, but yeah, definitely love this foundation. It gives me like a poreless look. It definitely like, I, I don't know if this is a matte foundation, but I feel like um after like drying or like putting oh well my setting spray might be matting it but it's definitely compared to the next foundation i'm about to talk about it's definitely a little bit more matte in my opinion so the next foundation so while i was re-upping on this because i've been using this for some time now i wanted to i saw marseille i think her name was marseille martin or i don't know what her name is but you know who i'm talking about Mar marseille marseille she was modeling for this brand, Makeup Forever, the HD Skin, the new foundation. Um, and I really wanted to try it because I love her. So I'm like, let me just, you know, try it. So I tried it on in store and I compared it to the Charlotte Tillsbury. So I love both of them. And the only difference is I think this one is a little bit more dewy. And I think this one, I think they're both like, they both have like a blurring effect. But definitely this, ugh, a gem. Like, I think if you... Either one. I'm not really too sure about the range in this. I am I got a 3N54. Originally, I had got another one, and it was cinnamon. Um, I'm not sure what this one is considered, but I got this cut. It's a little bit darker, and I know the sun is popping out. So um, just in case my skin starts to change, I can use this instead of um, the Charlotte Tillsbury. And it's not super dark, but it's just like a little bit on the dark side um i really love this foundation as well both of them i think are worth the price um definitely look into it if you like a full coverage or i don't know if it's medium to full coverage but definitely get it if you want some coverage and you want the flawless skin type of look um my next product is the sephora micro smooth multitasking bake face powder so I don't know what people would be using this for, but I'm using it for a pressed powder. Um, I used to use like the MAC, like a long time ago, I used to use like the MAC pressed powders, but like to put on a whole face, that's before I knew how to do makeup, I would do my whole face like foundation wise or like just to like freshen up and stuff. This I'm using for after I bake, I like to go in with um, a pressed powder that's around my color. Um, so that the bake is not too too light or whatever. Um, I think it's a great product. I've been used, so I thought I was, I thought I didn't use it, but I did buy this in another color. It was darker than this. It was, it's not my color. It was something I bought in the summer and I really loved it. It gives you that airbrush look. And even the girl that was selling it to me, um, the girl that works in Sephora that I always see, she was using this and her makeup looked airbrush. So I definitely think if you like the airbrush look and you like to do pressed powder just to like, or just to freshen up, you could get it in your skin color. That's the thing about pressed powder. You get it in your skin color and you just use it and pat your face dry, girl. Get you some pressed powder. It comes with the, I believe it comes with, it doesn't. It doesn't come with the, um... A pad you have to use like a brush or get your own I don't think it comes with one honestly okay but the pressed powder the next one um is a product okay actually I want to talk about this so the last video I was saying how I had bought like the cream contour for Fenty and how I like their matchsticks but I don't really like their other products so I wanted to see how the cream contour was so I like the cream contour 
Um, it was a little dark the color I got, so I would need to get a new color. I'm um, sorry, my lashes is bothering me, but I would need to get a new color for the cream contour. But somebody was coming for me in the comments because I said I didn't like the other products. Girl, to each opinion, to each its own, okay? If you like it, I love that for you. I personally don't like her foundation. I'm sorry. I love Rihanna. Respect her. I don't like the foundation. And a lot of people that I know don't, so it's kind of just like, I don't know. But anyways, off topic, I got the cream blush from the Fenty Beauty line. So I absolutely love this product, and I've been using it already. So it's called Rose Latte. This is the color. It's like a natural brown. Like, it's like a natural brown with like a little bit of red and a little bit of pink mixed in. I love this. It gives me like a, I have it on right now. You can't really see. I'm not really too good with blush yet. So I'm working on that. Um, I only dab a little bit, but a little bit goes a lo long way. And I love that it's so compact because you don't need a lot. Like you really don't. But um, this is definitely super cute. Love this for us. Like I really love this for like, if you're brown skin, um, I just love the natural look. I don't like to be like too rosy in the cheeks, um, but I think this is super cool, super cute. Um, it's called Cheeks Out Rosy Latte, but yeah, definitely a banger that one. Um, the next product and the last product for makeup is this Milk um, Hydro Grip Primer. So, okay, this product everyone knows about, I, I feel like. Um, I mentioned it in my last one, but I had gotten the smaller size. So I got the bigger size because I really do like it. So I think with primer, I wouldn't suggest buying primer. I think that if it's a primer with a use, then buy it. So for example, the Hydro Grip, it like makes your like makeup stick. So um, that is the point of it. And I think that that's a reason to buy a primer. Most primers... You just need to moisturize your skin. You can literally use a moisturizer and it will go on just as flawless if you had a prime primer base. But if it's for like long wear and like having your foundation stick, my opinion is like get get a primer that does that for you. But other than that, just moisturize your face. Well, that's just my opinion. Like I said, I'm not like a makeup guru or whatever. Um, but that's a, I, I know a lot of makeup artists say it as well so yeah and this has aloe water and hyaluronic acid I didn't know that so it says it helps with healthier a healthier looking base so that's cool it has like a skincare aspect in it go and grab it um you know this is popular so like I said girl go after this video um so now I have a couple bits and bobs um that I want to talk about. So the first one is uh, these blotting papers. Uh, girl. Okay. So first of all, it's nine dollars. So I know, I know that is dragging it. It really is. But these Sephora blotting papers are like the best that I've ever had. I think it's just the feel of it. Like it's just very soft and nice. And anyone that I've ever lent one to loves them. So I just figured, let me get them on the low, low while they're low. Um, cause I honestly, I buy some from Target and I just use those, but these are super bomb. Like I really love them and I buy it again. I buy it off the sale. I'm not even going to lie, but when your girl don't have it, I'll go to Target. But this is a gem. Okay. Oh, my braids are getting on my nerves. Okay. Um, next up is, okay. So I love this perfume. It's one of my faves. If you know, you know, if you don't I don't know, I guess you don't. But, um, so with perfume, everyone smells different when you, we have different body chemistry. So, not everything's gonna smell the same. Like, you girls love the YSL opium, and I don't get it because it smells like grandma to me. But this, I really love. And not everyone's gonna like it, but I'd say get it while get it while you can on sale. I got this size. I kind of got bigger because I literally wear this every day, everywhere I go. It's not the only perfume that I love. I have different faves, but it's definitely something that I use a lot, probably more than most of my other perfumes. So um, yeah, I got the 1.6 fluid ounces. Um, but you can get a bigger size. It's just this one lasts pretty long for me Like my other one is on its last leg, but I've had it for a minute So I just feel like I've had it since Christmas. So I just feel like This is like a great um, 
this is a great size for me um and last but not least are some brushes that I got. So I've been super into brushes lately. I used to be one of those girls that just buy the same set over and over again. I used to buy the black set from um, Sephora, the one with the leather roll-up bag. Um, but I've really been into brushes lately, and it really does make a difference. And Sephora does have some great quality brushes. So the first one is a pro concealer brush. Um, it's best for buffing and blending, and I like that. It tells you that on the, it tells you that when you're going there to shop and on the box. And it's good for liquids, creams, and sticks. So, um, it's number 57. And I just really been into like the buffing look lately, so um, I don't only want to just blend my makeup, I kind of want to buff it out so it looks more airbrushed. And so I got the same type of brush, but for foundation. So I got a buffing, um, this brush is good for just buffing. Um, that one said buffing and blending, but this says buffing. And it says use with liquid creams and sticks. And another thing that I like about them, and this is number 70. Another thing that I like about these are that they tell you what type of coverage that um, you're gonna get. So this is like more for a full coverage look. So if you want like a sheer, maybe look for a brush that has sheer or medium, look for one that has medium. But I like a full coverage look. It's not that I need it, but that's what I um, prefer. So that was my last product. I hope you guys love this haul. I hope that um, I helped make your shopping list easier, longer. I don't know. I wish I was getting paid by Sephora though because they kind of owe me some bread because, listen, I spent so much money. I didn't even know that I bought this much things. Some of them I had to order online, but you can order it in store for free shipping or I think you can go on the site and put in free ship as a code for free shipping. Um, and that's if you're a member, so join if you, you haven't joined yet. Um, other than that, I'm looking forward to recording more and being more consistent. I haven't been consistent and it's just, you know, when you're not in the right headspace or you're not feeling your best you cannot provide the best content and stuff like that and also I just wasn't feeling motivated and I think a lot of people have been motivating me the past few months um things haven't been going great for me but um something that I've been working on for years has finally um been in the woodworks and so I don't know it's kind of the push that I needed to know you know say to myself you are able and you are capable and even though people are telling you that for months sometimes you just need to feel it yourself so anyways um I hope you guys enjoyed this video you better run to Sephora okay bye guys